dinosaur bones, tracks, and geologic renderings, the Bineski Museum of Natural History has it all. I spoke with Fred Venn, education curator at the museum. I first asked him about the size of the collection. We have 1,700 specimens on display in the museum. The holdings of the collection extend beyond 200,000. Um, many of them are in the cabinets and storage areas throughout the museum, and we bring those out for teaching purposes throughout the year, as well as research. What stands out in the museum is its collection of dinosaur tracks. The trackway collection is one of the world's largest collections and most studied collections in the world. Um, it's even being currently researched by various paleontologists looking at specific things within the collection. It's a must-see. I mean, if you're going to travel and you're coming into the valley, you have to see that collection. There is nothing else in the world like that. It's an amazing collection. People don't see this anywhere else in the world. People flock from all over the valley and beyond to visit the museum. Annually, the attendance of the Bineski Museum is a little over 20,000 people. As for the most prized possession of the museum? It's the history of the museum that is probably its greatest prize. Each piece has a story, so it's not one individual piece, but it's the collection, it's the pieces that have kind of reflect on the history of Amherst College. Each piece says something special about the college, whether it's the large Colombian mammoth collected by Frederick Loomis in the early 1900s, or more recently a Dryosaurus altus that was donated to the museum by John Middleton about a year and a half ago. And if you want to visit the museum, it is open Tuesday through Sunday in the afternoon and admission is free. I'm Jesse Paliuka for AC News.